attentive. The 13th word of 21 words celebrating 30 years of call. I seek to be attentive. It is difficult, it is challenging, but indeed it is one of the requirements and one of the invitations of the gospel. We are invited into the good news of God to be attentive to life and its many gifts and challenges. Matthew writes a remarkable passage of which I read a selected portions, Matthew chapter 25 from verse 31. When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, he will sit on his glorious throne. All the nations will be gathered before him and he will separate the people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will put the sheep on his right, the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on the right, come you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance. The kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. It's a wonderful passage. Obviously, it continues in a sense of judgment. But it is a wake up call, a reminder that we need to be attentive to life as life is to be lived around us. And we are to be attentive to the particular challenges and invitations that life offer us. In light of the gospel, my particular response has been one to ask the simple question, where might Jesus be here? And so life demands from us a certain attentiveness. Most of Life, in my instance at least, has had a variety of moments where I have, to be honest, been switched off, not alert to the possibilities, not awake to the opportunities, not deeply sensitive to the presence of the sacred in the ordinary and the everyday. So what we pay attention to and what we get distracted by tells a lot about us. And so in many ways, I have to be honest and admit that I've got distracted just as much as I've been attentive. And this is the constant challenge of the rhythms and movements of life. And yet today I simply celebrate the invitation, the gift of being attentive. Two areas where I have sought particularly to be attentive since my conversion and in celebration of my call is the elderly and the poor. These two areas of life have invited me into a particular and powerful reminder. A, life is short and needs to be appreciated, uh, delighted in, enjoyed. Secondly, there is great wisdom that is found in those who have gone before us. As one wise wag has had it, it's better to learn from the mistakes of others rather than making those mistakes yourself. And there is a vulnerability in both the elderly and the poor that remind us that when we are stripped from all things that grant us a sense of comfort and security, we truly come face to face with who we are. And so the gospel invites us into an attentiveness here in this particular passage to the hungry, the broken, the vulnerable, those in need of visiting, friendship, care, clothing, drink, food. You get the picture. To be attentive is a wonderful gift. The invitation of today is just that. What are we paying attention to? Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the gift that you invite us to be attentive to life in the ordinary and the everyday, in the moments as they present themselves, in the people that come before us. As it is said, what is the most important person, the one before you now? What is the most important time? This moment. And so, Lord, help us go through this day, through this week, through this month, and through this year, and hopefully through our entire life as those truly attentive to your presence and the gift of your Spirit. Amen.